can do it tomorrow. Mm. You know, I can do a local. You know, I will inject some numbing medicine here and open it and put it into the screw. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl Amber, and we are back with another video. Don't come for my hair. I had to have my neighbor do it because, y'all, if y'all haven't seen my last video, your girl is out of commission, okay? Y'all haven't seen that last video. Make sure y'all check that out. Your girl is out of commission, you guys. Like, I can't even... Hold on. Whew. I can't even put my seatbelt on right. So... Like I said, make sure y'all check that last video out, y'all, because I'm really not going to do too much explaining as to what actually happened to my hand. Let me fix my camera. So I'm not going to actually explain what happened to my hand because I do explain it in the original video. But um, we are on our way to a baby appointment. Um, today is Monday, July 31st. So we are on our way to a baby appointment um, because of what happened yesterday, because this happened just yesterday, Sunday, July 30th. So they want me to come in and be seen because of the fall um, for the baby appointment. So I did go ahead and get that scheduled. So it's supposed to be at 930, but I'm running a little bit behind because y'all, it's a struggle. Like if you're only right-handed, it's a freaking struggle. Sorry if my camera shakes, you guys, because I have you guys up on the thing. I'm driving with my left hand. So, yeah, I am headed to a baby appointment for 930 to get everything checked out with the baby. Make sure he's okay. Make sure, like, nothing seriously happened to him when I fell yesterday because, yeah, it was a mess. But, um, yeah, and then I have my appointment to go see the uh i'm trying to get y'all a little bit uh so it's not so shaky it's still shaky whatever so then i have an appointment at 2 30 to go see the doctor um for my hands so that's what we're doing today today's a monday what a lovely monday to have nothing but appointments running 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 I'll keep y'all as updated as I can. Like I said, if y'all haven't checked out that last video, make sure y'all check that out. I have literally been in the ER the past week, the following weekend before last. I was just in the ER for three days with a kidney infection. If y'all ain't checked out that video, make sure y'all check that one out. But it's been a struggle. I've been to the hospital for everything but having this baby. So Ugh, it's just been a struggle y'all i'm gonna go ahead and get up with y'all when i get to this doctor's let y'all know what's going on because this phone is shaking too bad and i don't want y'all sitting here watching it shake but i'll let y'all know what happens when i get to the doctor's appointment and keep y'all updated like the opposite side of the hospital yeah like the ob the ob part yeah uh -huh. so that's just all they told me there yeah Okay, well this sounds good. It's at one thirty. So I think if you actually have a couple minutes. Uh-huh. And what I mean by couple minutes is like another half hour. Okay. What I'd like to do is I'd like to hook you up to the machines. Okay. Um and just do an NST real quick to help you out. Okay. Um Ugh. just because that's a longer test. It's about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Just so I can see, you know, and just get a longer strip. And just see what's going on. Okay. Does that sound okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I got some time. All right. All right, dear. Why don't you hang tight here? Okay. Um, when is your next appointment? Um, the ninth. Okay, so next week. Ninth, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's just keep it. Okay. Okay. 
And then um, I'm just gonna grab one of the nurses. Let me hang tight in this room for a minute. Okay. Let me grab one of them and see if we can get you, if the room is open, get you mm -hmm. in there right away, or if there's a little bit of a wait, I'll let you know. Okay. But right. that way we can get a monitoring, make sure everything's good, and then we can get you on your way if everything looks great. Okay. okay. All right, you guys, so we are done with the appointment. Honestly, I feel like that was a total waste of my time, if I'm being, like, honest. Um, she checked the baby's heartbeat. The baby's heartbeat was good. It was 144. I had already knew the baby's heartbeat was good yesterday, um, so I really don't. I mean, they just did the same thing that they did yesterday at the hospital. Checked the baby's heartbeat, hooked me up to the heartbeat thing monitor i don't know honestly i just feel like that was a real waste of my time because they didn't do anything she didn't talk to me about anything they asked me what happened obviously checked the baby's heartbeat said they were gonna hook me up baby was fine that was it and then they were like okay see you at your next appointment so like i honestly feel like that was just a huge waste of my time if i'm being honest but right now i'm about to go get something to eat it's 10 41 and then go back to work and then wait for my next appointment with the surgeon at not or 2 30 that appointment is really the only point appointment that matters to me honestly because i want to know what they're gonna do about my hands so yeah i'm about to head back home to log back into work and then wait for my next appointment so much fun yeah And the fact that I'm pregnant. Oh, no crap. Yeah. So you're pregnant. Yeah, I'm 31 weeks. No shit. Thank you. Wow, really. You dislocated that joint. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it also fractured it at this thing. Uh, you know, you see you have a fracture on this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the most difficult thing that, you know, I mean, this, uh, this, this is a very unstable fracture. Mm -hmm. This one, you see? Yeah. And uh, your finger must be twisted. Yeah. I mean, what do we do? What do people usually do that aren't pregnant in this situation? I have to offer. Oh, you do? This way. What's the, I guess, what's the, like, risk, I guess? I don't, I don't really If know. you don't operate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't operate, yeah. the, the finger will be twisted. Oh, okay. And then it'll stay like that? Uh-huh. Oh. So if, I guess... Could you operate pregnant or no? I guess I can. <laughs> I just, how long does that normally take to recover from? I can, you know, I can do a local, mm -hmm. you know, to numb here pretty good. Mm -hmm. And just a numb here and uh, get enough of local. Um, put the two screws mm -hmm. on this. Yeah. And this one, I'm going to just, uh, you know, like this. Mm -hmm. I think. I mean, I'd rather have. How long does that recovery usually take? Um, about eight, uh, about eight to ten weeks, just yeah. on your forty. Yeah. Just before you deliver the baby. Yeah. So if you don't operate, I have to stay in this. That's right. No, the the problem that the finger will be twisted. Oh, the finger will be twisted. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's how it looks right now? Yes. With the yes, cast on? Yes. Or, oh, okay. Well, was it... So, what's... I guess, what's... So, if you don't operate, my finger's twisted, um, will it still be, like, in, like, a lot of pain? Like, will I still have, like... You, you, yeah, you know, the function. Mm -hmm. right, we'll get the boss in here. You know, every time you do you. this, you know, there will be, like, this. Mm, okay. 
So if I okay. don't yeah, have the surgery, the okay. is it going to be like bad for my hand? That's right. You'd have a functional problem. Oh. Okay. When would you be able to do it, fix it, or do the screws and stuff? I can do it tomorrow. Mm. You know, I can do a local, you know, I will inject some nummy medicine here and open it and put into the screw. Oh, I'd be awake? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Uh, what do you suggest I do? I don't know. I've never broken anything before, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Can we take off the splint? Yeah, you can take it off. It doesn't. We'll take off the splint. Okay. Okay. Room one. Yeah, yeah. Alright y'all, so we are back home from the appointment and as you guys heard in the clip that I inserted, he wanted to do surgery. Um, I don't know if I got it exactly on the clip when it started, but he initially wanted to jump right in and do surgery on my hand and I told him I was pregnant and he was like, oh shit, he didn't know I was pregnant. So that kind of took him for a surprise, but yeah, so they did a second x-ray on my hand, or my finger, I should say, and he said it actually looked pretty good after the lady at the um, emergency room kind of snapped, put it back in place. So he said it looked good, but the problem is, is that he still wanted to do surgery. Basically, he told me he would numb my hand, open it up, and put two screws in it. I don't know if you guys heard that. I don't know if that was a part of the clip. I know he had came back in the room um, and said it. He kind of popped in and out really fast, so I didn't get a chance to really record everything. The recording that you heard was actually just in the main hallway part where he was showing me the x-ray and explaining to me. And I was asking questions, as you guys heard, because I'm just like super confused. Like, you know, I'm, I don't want to get to the point where I can't work and I can't take care of my baby. So... You know, I had a lot of questions and, um, yeah, I was super confused. So what they did was they put me back in one of these. Um, but the thing about this one is it's three of my fingers. So now I only have two fingers out. I had three fingers out in my last one, but he said, basically he was like, I'm going to compromise with you and, um, re put you in a splint and then we'll see you next week because he wanted to do surgery i mean like he really wanted to do surgery like tomorrow he was willing to cut my hand open and do surgery tomorrow but i basically told him i'm like you know like i don't know if i'm ready for that right now like i still i, I need to work i know i'm gonna go on maternity leave here pretty soon but like it's way too early for me to go on maternity leave so they gave me a doctor's note saying that I can't use my right hand at all. Technically, I'm not supposed to use my right hand. Like, obviously, I'm trying to heal from a broken hand. So, I'm not supposed to be using my right hand. So, I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys. This, this has just been a real crazy situation that I've had to go through. I've never had to have... I've never had anything like this happen to me. Like, I've never had to deal with this. I've never broken anything knock on wood so i don't know how to handle this like i don't know um but like i said he wants to do surgery but he said he's gonna give me another week in this and see how it heals um so yeah i mean fingers crossed that it heals really good and that i don't have to have surgery and that i can just be in one of these for the next couple weeks and um go from there i don't know we'll have to see but like I said, he gave me a doc he gave me a, a work note that I'm not supposed to use my right hand. I don't really know how I'm gonna do it with just two fingers now. <sighs> so it's 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 um I don't know, you guys. I'm just super confused with this whole situation. I'm really lost and I have a lot more questions that you know I would like to be answered, but I'll ask him next week when I go in to see him next week on Monday. So that's the update for y'all that's i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because i don't have anything else going on today i'm gonna try to get back to work i'm gonna try to use my hand as much as i possibly can i don't know how much i'll be able to but i'm gonna try if it doesn't work out then it just doesn't work out and i'm just gonna have to try to figure it out i guess but i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here um hope to see you guys in my next one and yeah we'll see you guys later bye Love is a one in a million. It 
goes on and on. 